30 Best Places to Travel Alone From beach retreats to artsy escapes, these spots around the world are superb options for your next solo trip. There are many good reasons to travel solo, from not having to coordinate with others' schedules to getting to spend time doing what only interests you most. Plus, many destinations offer easy transportation, lots of activities and relatively safe environments that make them ideal for exploring alone. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the top 30 places to travel alone. Wait till you see what's inside the top 10 that we're going to be showing in this video, something you would never even have thought of. So make sure you watch till the end. So if you're ready, Lona, let's cut to the chase. At 30, Beaver Creek, Colorado. For those who love the outdoors, this charming village in the Rocky Mountains offers plenty to do in both winter and summer. Hop in an epic Mountain Express shuttle at Denver International Airport and travel about 130 miles west to your hotel, home or condo. Beaver Creek Resort offers a free shuttle service for travel anywhere within the resort, so you'll have no trouble getting around. Ski and snowboard to your heart's content in winter or enjoy solitary hiking, mountain biking or sitting by a peaceful mountain stream during summer. Don't miss local restaurants like Bino's Cabin, which you can visit on horseback the Beaver Creek Chop House and Toscanini. At 29, Grand Cayman, Cayman Islands. Known for its friendly locals and outstanding cuisine, the latter of which has led many to call the island the culinary capital of the Caribbean, Grand Cayman is easy and affordable to reach on airlines like Southwest and Delta. You'll find the best airfare deals between March and June, and Grand Cayman is simple to get around using taxis or public buses. Travellers will find plenty of solitary activities, including Stingray City, where you can touch stingrays as they look for food, snorkelling outings and scuba diving tours with your choice of 40-plus operators, such as Ocean Frontiers. At the end of the day, unwind at a luxury resort like the Grand Cayman Marriott Beach Resort or the Kimpton Seafire Resort and Spa on stunning Seven Mile Beach. Next up, at 28, Paris. Paris is an extremely walkable city, ideal for individuals exploring on their own. Mass transit, including the metro and bus system, are also easy to navigate, and a Paris Visite travel card covers unlimited trips for a set number of days in its fee. Grab a Paris museum pass and admire the amazing artwork at the Musée de Louvre. Try Friday night when it's less busy. The Centre Pompidou and the Musée d'Orsay, or make like a local and find a spot along the Seine to enjoy a baguette and a bottle of wine. Sounds right up my street. Try a tour company like the Tour Guy to skip the often hours-long lines at the Paris catacombs or to enjoy a guided tour of the other sites like Versailles. Hilton Paris Opera sits close to many attractions on the right bank, while charming vacation rentals are plentiful on the left bank. Or bed down at a simple and affordable option like the Holiday Inn Paris Saint-Germain-des-Prés. At 27, San Diego. There are so many options for where to go and what to do in San Diego that it works for many types of solo travellers. Visitors can sunbathe and surf at Pacific Beach, go shopping and get up close to seals and sea lions in La Jolla, or enjoy the nightlife in the historic Gas Lamp Quarter. If you love comics, be sure to arrive in July so you can attend Comic Con International, the largest annual convention dedicated to comics and pop culture in the US. Maybe they're the same thing or soak up some California sun while hiking through a nearby state park or wandering around spacious Balboa Park and the San Diego Zoo. As for accommodations, solo travellers can relax at the Kona Kai Resort and Spa on Shelter Island, which features an adults-only pool and a private beach. Ooh, uh. Estancia La Jolla Hotel and Spa is another great choice, as solo travellers can enjoy free outdoor bar and yoga classes, an area to practice meditation and in-room fitness options. Go on then. At 26, Rome. Rome is a bucket list destination that gives visitors the opportunity to see the famous Colosseum, world-renowned artwork and the seat of the Roman Catholic Church in Vatican City. Italians tend to speak English and are generally warm and friendly people, making it easy to socialise and find your way around. Plus, the bus system and the metro are convenient modes of transportation once you know some basics, and taxis are typically safe to use. A Roma Pass gets you free transportation and discounts on attractions. Areas like Tras de Ver and 18th century Spanish Steps feature several convenient accommodation options such as Aleph Rome Hotel, Hasler Roma and the Hotel Indigo Rome, St. Georges on Via Giulia, one of the Rome's most beautiful streets. 
it's also easy to hop on tour with companies like the Roman Guy, which offers excursions to the city's ancient catacombs and areas beneath the Colosseum, among other options. Who said Rome was for romanticists, eh? At 25, Santa Fe, New Mexico. Solo travellers looking for clear skies should consider visiting Santa Fe. Offering an average of 325 days of sunshine per year, this southwestern city, which is the oldest capital in the United States, is known for its art scene and beautiful surroundings. Visitors can go hiking or skiing depending on the season, or check out more than a dozen museums, such as the iconic Georgia O'Keeffe Museum. To reach the city, vacationers can fly into Santa Fe Regional Airport on American Airlines or United Airlines, or travel into Albuquerque International Sunport before catching a shuttle to Santa Fe. Travellers can then get around on foot, by bike or via ride-hailing services like Uber and Lyft. The city also offers public buses and a free shuttle system. Next in at 24, Asheville, North Carolina. Set in the Blue Ridge Mountains of North Carolina, Asheville is a friendly, art-focused mountain destination that also happens to be home to the Biltmore Estate, an 8,000-acre property once owned by George Vanderbilt. The city features more than 30 art galleries and offers opportunities for solo hiking, biking, kayaking and even fishing. With a growing culinary scene and plenty of breweries, Asheville is also a great place to explore fun and funky restaurants and sip local beers. Sounds great. For a place to stay, check out the luxurious Omni Grove Park Inn or the Biltmore Estates options, which include the Inn on Biltmore Estate and the Village Hotel on Biltmore Estate. American, United and Delta are just some of the airlines that fly into Asheville Regional Airport, but many East Coast-based travellers can easily reach Asheville by car. At 23, Tuscany, Italy. For the ultimate solo getaway, consider walking along the Via Francigena, an ancient pilgrimage route that runs through much of the Tuscan region, including popular hill towns like Lucca, Siena and San Gibignano. Chandy Wyant, an American author who lives in Italy and is now an Italian tour guide, shares her experience hiking the trail alone in her book, Return to Glow, a pilgrimage of transformation in Italy. VBT Bicycling Vacations also recommends Tuscany to solo travellers, as English is spoken widely and many types of experiences are available. Plus, each town's plethora of Italian trattorias are likely to welcome anyone with open arms, literally and ample pasta and wine. Oh yes, table for one, please. At 22, Santa Barbara, California. Enjoy top-notch shopping, wine tasting and scenery in Santa Barbara, a California city known for buildings with red tile roofs and its many paseos or hidden walkways that descend deep behind the main thoroughfare of State Street. The Funk Zone district offers wine tastings, shops and galleries, while Old Mission Santa Barbara showcases the city's rich history. Other fun activities include hiking the Santa Ynez Mountains and sampling wines in nearby towns like Los Olivos and Solvang. Bed down at a hotel like the Kimpton Canary Hotel or Hilton Santa Barbara Beachfront Resort, which has a pool, a spa and bike rentals, or opt for a quiet bed and breakfast close to downtown, such as the charming Simpson House Inn. In at 21, Iceland. According to Intrepid Travel, which leads group tours all over the world, Iceland is a great destination for solo travel. Most locals speak English and are warm and friendly, and the company notes that Wi-Fi access and cell phone reception are both very good. Good to text back home to somebody then. The country is often called the land of fire and ice because of its abundance of natural wonders, from glaciers to volcanoes to waterfalls and hot springs. Consider a visit during the summer months to enjoy nearly 24 hours of sunlight while participating in outdoor activities like ice climbing, caving, cycling and hiking. Reykjavik, the country's capital and most populous city, is a good home base thanks to its proximity to Iceland's international airport and its multitude of shops, cafes, museums and art galleries. Into the top 20 and at 20, the Big Apple, New York City. The Big Apple's melting pot of cultures makes it a popular option for solo travellers with varying interests. With three airports, two major train stations and a subway system that takes you nearly anywhere you want to go, New York is easy to reach and explore. To escape the crowds, avoid Times Square and instead wander around quieter areas like the hip meatpacking district, the charming West Village and trendy Brooklyn, which is accessible by ferry from Manhattan. After sightseeing, sit for a slice of New York-style pizza at a local joint like Joe's Pizza before bedding down for the night. 
Accommodation options include the classic Walker Hotel Greenwich Village, the cool Williamsburg Hotel in Brooklyn, or an apartment in your favorite part of the city, which you can book through a vacation rental company like Verbo. And at 19, Toronto. Situated 99 miles north of Buffalo, New York, Ontario's capital city offers a distinctly European feel close to home. Get around Toronto on the GO Transit network of trains and buses or by streetcar, or stick to the downtown area and explore on foot. Top attractions include the CN Tower, one of the world's tallest towers at roughly 1,815 feet, Yongidunda Square, CF Toronto Eaton Centre and the Toronto Zoo. The Toronto City Pass is an easy way to see multiple attractions for a reduced price and to bypass long ticket lines. If you'd rather enjoy the outdoors, check out the Toronto Islands, which you can reach via a ferry ride from downtown or head to High Park, Toronto's largest public park. And now at 18, Seville, Spain. For a taste of España, visit Seville, the capital of the country's autonomous Andalusia region. Featuring an extensive bus and metro system, Seville is fairly simple to navigate on your own. Plus, top sites like the Cathedral de Sevilla, the Torre del Oro, and the Giralda and the Almeida del Hercules, the oldest public park in Europe, sit in the heart of downtown. Once the sun sets, check out the nightlife scenes in the Alemada and Triana neighborhoods. Also save time for a flamenco lesson or a football or soccer match. At 17, Sedona, Arizona. For a getaway in the great outdoors surrounded by otherworldly red rocks, head to Sedona. Located about 115 miles north of Phoenix, Sedona offers plenty of popular hiking spots such as Cathedral Rock and Devil's Bridge. To hike on National Forest land, purchase a Red Rock Pass. Daily, weekly and annual passes are sold online and at various locations, including many local hotels and select grocery stores, retailers and gas stations. For a thrilling adventure, try a pink adventure tour through Sedona's backcountry or embark on a stargazing expedition with Sedona Stargazing or the Lowell Observatory. When it comes to lodging, consider the luxurious Hilton Sedona Resort at Bell Rock or the Courtyard by Marriott Sedona, which boasts mountain views, fire pits and a private meditation area. I guess you'll need that. At 16, Ljubljana, Slovenia. Unlike other European cities, the capital of Slovenia offers spectacular scenery without hordes of tourists, making it a great vacation destination for those travelling alone. To get your bearings, join a two-hour city tour of the historic centre and Ljubljana Castle, which includes a funicular ride. You can also take a boat cruise down the Ljubljana River to see the Dragon and Triple Bridges and wander among the ancient Roman ruins of a 2,000-year-old city. The handy Ljubljana card grants you access to more than 20 local attractions, plus unlimited rides on city buses and complimentary internet access for 24 hours. I guess that's all you'll need. If you tire of Ljubljana's offerings, travel 32 miles northwest to Bled to see its stunning lake and 11th century castle. And now at 15, Seattle. Head to the Pacific Northwest to explore this vibrant city full of natural beauty. If arriving by plane, hop a ride on the Link Light Rail to reach downtown from the airport. You can also use the monorail, buses or streetcars to get around the city. Consider a day pass for unlimited rides on most modes of transportation. There are plenty of things to see and do in Seattle, from the iconic Space Needle to bustling Pike Place Market, where the original Starbucks store is located. For a dose of nature, head to Snoqualmie Falls, walk through the Olympic Sculpture Park or go whale watching. No visit would be complete without a stay at the Waterfront Edgewater Hotel or Hotel 1000. Not quite sure why it's called that, but anyway. At 14, Dublin. A relatively short flight from the East Coast, Dublin is an easily accessible city that's great to explore on foot. Take your time wandering through top attractions like St. Patrick's Cathedral, Christ Church Cathedral, Trinity College Dublin and Haypenny Bridge, located over the River Liffey. Sip a pint at the Guinness Storehouse and learn how the famous brew is made, indulge in some retail therapy on Grafton Street and make new friends at one of the many pubs found in Dublin's Temple Bar neighbourhood. For accommodations in the heart of the action, try the Belvedere Hotel or the Holiday Inn Express Dublin City Centre. At 13, Thailand. Many travel bloggers report Thailand as a safe destination for solo travel, including the busy city of Bangkok. In the Thai capital, visitors will find top sites like foodie-centric Khao Road and the aptly named Grand Palace, plus an impressive nightlife scene. 
To get around the city or to other parts of Thailand, vacationers can take advantage of the country's many modes of transportation, which range from traditional choices like trains, subways, buses and taxis, to local options such as long-tail boats and three-wheeled motorcycles known as tuk-tuks. Female travellers can even download the Tourism Authority of Thailand's Women's Journey Thailand app for more tips. And now at 12, Maui, Hawaii. For some solo fun in the sun, look no further than the Hawaiian paradise of Maui. If snorkelling with sea turtles is at the top of your bucket list, and let's face it, it probably is, rent some gear from a local shop and head to Black Rock or Honolulu Bay. Or if you'd rather swim with a group, book a guided snorkelling outing at Monokini Crater with a tour company like Kai Kananai. Whale watching is another popular activity. If you visit between November and May, Maui's whale watching season, be sure to sign up for a tour with a local company like Pack Whale Eco Adventures. Travellers who'd prefer to stay on dry land can hike easy scenic paths along the Kapalua Coastal Trail before enjoying dinner at Taverna, an Italian restaurant at Kapalua Resort. Consider booking a stay at the Hyatt Regency Maui Resort and Spa along Canal Pali Beach to enjoy on-site luaus and stargazing tours. Alternatively, the Westin Maui Resort and Spa, Canal Pali, offers a massive pool complex that's perfect for swimming and lounging. And now, at 11, New Zealand. Often labelled one of the safest and friendliest countries in the world, New Zealand is a good option for travellers venturing out on their own. Known for its gorgeous landscapes featured in films like The Lord of the Rings trilogy and A Wrinkle in Time, this island nation beckons to outdoorsy types. You can explore its many black sand beaches, yes, that's black, fjord-filled national parks, glowworm caves and hot pools, or base yourself in Queenstown so you can easily reach historic Arrowtown, sip wine in Gibston Valley's vineyards and shop while taking in views of Lake Wakatipu. Queenstown is also popular with adventure enthusiasts keen on trying activities like skydiving, bungee jumping and whitewater rafting. Though you'll want to rent a car to get from city to city, you can take a plane or ferry to travel between the country's North and South Islands. And now into that all-important top 10, at 10, Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Soak up some sun, art and delicious cuisine on a solo trip to this fun-filled Florida destination. If you're looking to get around the city in style, use the free water trolley system to travel from place to place. After a day of lounging on your private resort beach, favorites include the Diplomat Beach Resort Hollywood and the Conrad Fort Lauderdale Beach. Explore Fat Village or the Mass District to see local art displays or shop until you drop on Las Olas Boulevard. When hunger strikes, sit down for pizza and fresh pasta at Heritage Restaurant or take in the views of downtown Fort Lauderdale at the Lobby Bar at the Dalmar. End your day with a stroll down the beachfront promenade for people watching and cocktails. Ah, <laughs> people watching, my favorite. At number nine, Galapagos Islands. This collection of islands, which you can fly to from Guayaquil and Quito, Ecuador, is a safe natural paradise known for its protective wildlife, including sea lions, coastal birds and marine iguanas. Because of ongoing conservation efforts, multiple travel documents and an entrance fee are required upon arrival, so travelling through a tour company is often the easiest way to visit. The Santa Cruz 2 Galapagos Cruise offers voyager cabins for solo travellers, allowing for more contemplative time alone. The cruise goes to less visited areas of the islands, has lots of places to get away from others on board and offers kayaks, paddle boards, small boats and snorkeling gear for exploring the area at your own pace. Next up at number 8, Charleston, South Carolina. Charleston is a walkable city filled with friendly locals, historic homes, gourmet restaurants and charming boutiques. Solo visitors won't want to miss the chance to bike or take a carriage ride through the historic downtown area. Travellers should also save time for a tour of plantations like Boone Hall Plantation and Gardens and Magnolia Plantation and Gardens. And Gardens. A boat trip to Fort Sumter National Monument and a visit to the South Carolina Aquarium are additional must-dos. For accommodations, consider staying at the Ryder Hotel, which is centrally located on Meeting Street, or the Harbour View Inn, a 1930s indigo cotton warehouse with a rooftop terrace. The inn offers a solo vacation package that lets solo travellers serve at a local community kitchen before eating dinner at Hank's Seafood Restaurant. And then you do the washing up afterwards, obviously. Next up then, at number seven, it's Sydney, Australia. Australia's most populated city may take some time to reach, but its ample activities and world-renowned attractions make it a superb spot for solo travellers. 
Water lovers can explore Sydney Harbour or surf at Bondi, mate, Manly or Cronulla beaches. Those keen on enjoying a solitary stroll can head to the Royal Botanic Garden, which offers free tours daily, or try the Bondi to Coogee Coastal Walk. Other top Sydney sites include the iconic Sydney Opera House, the Australian National Maritime Museum and the Sydney Cricket Ground Museum. All are accessible by light rail, train, bus or ferry. To save on fares, visitors can request a free reloadable Opal card, which comes with ride discounts. And now at number six, Athens, Greece. Imagine exploring Greece on your own as you marvel at its magnificent ruins and artefacts, possibly with a togo on. Athens, one of the world's oldest cities, is where you'll find top-notch institutions like the National Archaeological Museum and the Benaki Museum, plus the famous Acropolis, a UNESCO World Heritage Site that includes the Parthenon and the Erechtheion. You can get around by trolley, metro or bus, and a tram is available for travel to and from the local beaches. A quiet walk along the waterfront makes for a lovely evening, as does exploring Athens' historic city centre, which is one of the largest pedestrian zones in Europe, by foot or bike. When you need a break from sightseeing, stop for a drink at a local cafe or bar. Oh, that sounds great. Mine's a pint, please. Then at number five, it's Venice Beach, California. Consider a solo trip to Venice Beach to immerse yourself in Southern California's beachy, bohemian atmosphere. The region's year-round warm weather makes it possible to rent a bike and explore the beach up to the Santa Monica Pier, kayak through the Venice Canal Historic District, or flex your abs at iconic Muscle Beach no matter when you visit. Uh, no thanks. In the evening, head to Hip Abbot Kinney Boulevard for dinner and a drink. You'll even find fleets of food trucks on the first Friday of each month. Book a beach bungalow or an area apartment through Verbo or Airbnb to feel like you're a local. Now at number four, Austin, Texas. It's easy to get around Austin, whether you're driving, riding the bus or metro rail, renting a bike or hiring a pedicab. This relaxed Texas city, known for its superb music scene and creative atmosphere, is a safe and exciting getaway for solo travelers. Visit one of 250 plus live music venues, have a drink on Happening 6th Street, or walk or jog along the Ann and Roy Butler hike and bike trail at Ladybird Lake. The W Austin, with its rooftop pool overlooking downtown Austin, makes for a hip and luxurious stay. If you have a car, drive outside the city to the Texas Hill Country, which boasts historic towns and more than 20 vineyards, where you can enjoy a glass or two of wine. Oh, go on then. And now at number three, Sri Lanka. Located off the southeastern coast of India in the Indian Ocean, Sri Lanka appeals to individuals who enjoy nature. The island is home to eight UNESCO World Heritage Sites, as well as stunning beaches, botanical gardens, waterfalls, national parks and almost 500,000 acres of tea estates. To get from point A to point B, the country has trains, taxis and air taxis. Colombo, Sri Lanka's capital, also offers double-decker buses for sightseeing tours. There are two international airports on the island, which are served by major airlines, including Korean Air, Qatar Airways and Cathay Pacific Airways. Vacations to Sri Lanka can also be booked through tour companies like G Adventures and Audley Travel. And now, at number two, Singapore. Singapore's well-lit streets and safe public transportation system make it a worry-free option for solo visitors. What's more, this modern metropolis's plentiful shopping, nightlife and nature-focused attractions draw travellers with varying interests. Explore neighbourhoods like Little India and Chinatown by foot, browse Orchard Road's boutiques or the shops in one of several malls or get a dose of greenery at the Singapore Botanic Gardens, the Gardens by the Bay or Pungol Waterway Park. Marina Bay Sands, an architectural wonder with a rooftop designed to look like a massive ship, is a bucket list lodging option. Or opt for Amara Sanctuary Resort Sentosa, which serves an oasis of rest and relaxation near Singapore's action-packed business and shopping districts. And now for a drum roll and our number one, San Francisco. Getting to and around San Francisco on your own is a cinch, thanks to the city's large international airport, cable cars, electric trains, streetcars and buses. Can't miss activities to add to your itinerary and your iPhone include exploring Telegraph Hill's Colt Tower, taking a big bus sightseeing tour across the Golden Gate Bridge and walking through the city's historic Chinatown neighborhood. 
Once you've worked up an appetite, savour a classic seafood dinner at the Fog Harbour Fish House, which overlooks the bay, before retiring for the night to the Palace Hotel, Hotel Zoe Fisherman's Wharf, Hotel Zephyr or one of San Francisco's other top hotels. And there you have no less than 30, yes 30, world destinations to visit on your own. You can always take me, I'm available. Did you like what you saw? Let us know in the comments down below. Share this video with your other lonesome friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel Trip Extreme for more fantastic top 10, 20, 30 or more lists. See you next time, loners.